Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to use My Yahoo as a feed reader. Feed reader allows me to draw a news feed of headlines on topics of my choosing to one convenient place. It enables me to quickly scan headlines and links to content that I'm interested in. As you can see here, I have feeds from various local, national, and international news organizations so I can quickly scan headlines. If I see something I'm interested in, such as the election in the United Kingdom yesterday. I can just click on that headline and it will bring me to the BBC article about that story. So let's go back to the feed reader. As you can see I've created a stream here of uh, general news. I have a stream about um, you know technological online things and uh, let's add another feed and just call it journalism and as you're aware I've asked you to follow about a half a dozen websites related to journalism and, and in particular online journalism this semester so uh, we're going to add a few feeds from some of those sites uh, here I have uh, immediately after I create the journalism stream I've um, got a prompt to add content so one of the websites I've asked you to follow is JSource by the Canadian Journalism Project. Excellent, excellent website about Canadian journalism and journalism in general. Has all kinds of different uh, journalism topics, everything from ethics and law to photojournalism to newspapers, magazines, all kinds of stuff. And what we want to do, we want to search for an RSS feed and we usually find that with an RSS symbol if you go up here you'll see a little RSS symbol and we can click on that and will bring us to their feed page and all we have to do is go up to the web address or URL window click and copy that address and we'll go back to our feed reader and this little search window we'll just paste in the RSS address, hit the little search icon, the little magnifying glass, and we'll get an RSS feed. And there's a plus symbol by that. We'll just add that and click Done. And you have a feed of only three headlines. We want more headlines than that, but we can change that. If we just go to this little edit wheel down in the bottom right corner of the feed window, we see Edit Settings. So click Edit Settings and we can display up to 10 headlines if we want. I'm going to choose 8. I'm going to go save. And I see I have a feed of headlines, thumbnail, photos, and uh, the first few words of each article. Now if I want it to look a little bit cleaner I can get rid of the thumbnail, thumbnail uh, photos. So just hit edit settings and I can choose medium which just gives me the headlines and the first few words of the of the article now let's we're gonna have more than one feed in our news feed so let's choose another one let's go to media shift and um, I like when I'm looking for RSS feeds I like to use Internet Explorer uh, because it, 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 it makes it easier to find an RSS feed sometimes they're not easy to find just by looking at a page. Looking here at the top I don't see a symbol. Looking down here I don't see a symbol. But if you go up to the top right corner you'll see this little orange RSS icon in the Internet Explorer toolbar. If I click on that when I'm on a page it will bring me to an RSS feed if the page has an RSS feed. So again we'll just copy that URL, go back to my Yahoo and uh, I'll click add content over here on the or over here on the right and we'll get that add content window again and I'll just paste that in there hit my little search glass again and add the media shift feed and go done and it lands on top of the other feed. I can shift stuff around easily. 
so it looks like I want it to look. If you want to change the look of the page, this is a nice clean background, but if you want you can choose other backgrounds. There's other clean looking ones. There's kind of cluttered looking ones if you're so inclined. If you're a Fast and Furious fan, you can add the guys in behind there. But, uh, you know, that's totally up to you as long as you can you can uh, read the headlines and, and, and follow them at your convenience. And that's an easy guide to RSS.